Hey guys, recently Infinite Terrain got a new update with a new generate feature and in this video I want to show you why and how you may want to use this new feature. In this test project I have created a ball that is not anchored and a humanoid that is also not anchored. Now if we turn generate terrain off and clear the terrain and then run the project Here we can see to the perspective of the server there is no terrain. Here we can see that even though I have pushed the ball off of its platform, it's still hovering above the terrain. But as soon as I start to walk away from the ball, the ball falls through the terrain. The same is true for humanoids as well. We can get a better idea of what's going on if we go to Studio Settings and turn our region shown to true. Here we can see that if the ball stays within the green circle that we keep network ownership of that ball. But as soon as the ball leaves the green circle it falls through the terrain. If we create a script and set the network ownership to nil then the ball will always be owned by the server. The upside of doing this is now that hackers are no longer able to move the ball. But now we have the problem that the ball will always fall through the terrain. Now I'm going to change the script to make it so that the network ownership is set to the client. The upside to this is now that the ball will feel more responsive to the client. It will also improve performance for the server as the server will no longer need to do physics based calculations for the ball. And now the ball will always stay above the terrain. I'm going to change the script once again to make it so that the ball is always owned by the server. Now I'm going to generate the terrain, but this time I'm not going to clear the terrain. Now you can see that even though the ball is owned by the server, it does not fall through the terrain, as long as it stays within the generated areas. And this is where the new generate feature of the plugin comes in. I'm first going to clear the terrain. I'm now going to start painting in the areas that I want to be generated on the server side.
I am also going to delete the ball's base plate as it's no longer needed. I am also going to do the same for the humanoid. Now I'm going to save the generate data inside of server storage. And now before I publish the game, I'm going to make sure I clear the terrain and only generate the generate data. Now you can see the benefit of physics based objects no longer falling through the terrain even though they are owned by the server.